Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg, and today we're going to make some Halloween candy, and that's something we haven't done for a while. Traditionally, Halloween candy is about candy you can give out cheaply in mass quantities. And I'm afraid this year, well, trick-or-treating may not be as good as it was in the past. So we thought we'd make some good gift-giving Halloween candy, and we'd look back on trick-or-treating in Tallahassee. There are towns and neighborhoods all over the country that go crazy with Christmas decorations. But Tallahassee has a neighborhood that's around a street called Beard Street that goes crazy for Halloween. And this footage is from 2019, so long before anything happened here. But I thought I'd show you what it was like to go trick-or-treating near my neighborhood. This is only about a 10-minute walk from my house. As I mix the color into the hot sugar and boil off all the water in the food coloring, I realize I haven't told you what we're doing today. We're going to be making smiley face vampires, and this is part of an assortment where we're going to have a ghost, an alien, we're going to have a jack-o'-lantern, and we're going to have a jack skeleton. And we're going to do all of this in a five flavor set, and this is one of them. And this is the vampire, and we will be doing a smiley face vampire. And I know you're asking at this time, what flavor are we going to use? It's a vampire. We're going to use blood orange. Because it's blood orange, the white powder we just added is citric acid to make the candy a bit sour, and now we're cutting it up. It's cooled off on our candy cooling table, and against the bars and against the bottoms, it's become a little solid. But the inside is liquid, and as we cut it into the two colors, we need to even it out. So we're going to pour out the hot liquid against the cool table to cool, and we'll put the cool parts back on top. I grew up in Brooklyn and we went trick-or-treating, but it was nothing like this. On a good day, 10,000 people might come out to go trick-or-treating here. And people decorate from everything from dragons to, well, one lady who worked at a wildlife refuge had real live owls on her front lawn one year. Jake puts the candy on our candy pulling machine. Some people call this a taffy puller, but it's used for a lot more than that. It aerates the machine and it adds air bubbles, and those air bubbles reflect light. And when the light goes in the air bubbles, it bounces around the inside and bounces back at you. And it gives the illusion that our amber candy is white. This is the same way the froth at the top of a wave when it breaks looks white, but the ocean's often not white. So it's a cool effect and we're basically trapping the top of the ocean in time in candy. And while I designed the vampire and built it with Jake, the others in this assortment were done by Jake and Bernard. And because of this, the designs are very different than from what I normally do. But I thought I'd give you a preview on the three that's been made. You'll see this one later, and we're doing the jack-o'-lantern after this video was produced. So that one's gonna have to remain a surprise. If you want to try this candy for yourself, please go over to www.pd.net. You can pre-order it now or order it now on our website and see the rest of our wonderful candies. You know another reason that I decided to do this? If you can't go out trick-or-treating, you can at least see some highlights from my trick-or-treating last year. And maybe that'll make the candy taste a little better. Now I get to divide up the colors to make sure I have the right amount for each part of this piece of candy. It's just a smiley face with fangs that I'm going to be doing. And that means I can do a lot of the calculations in my head. For the more complicated pieces, I do this on paper. And I often have a sheet of paper hanging up in front of me, guiding me on how to use the colors efficiently so I don't run out of anything and I, hopefully I don't have too many leftover pieces. So here I am, just dividing the colors and making the first piece. A wrap for the vampire tooth. And the vampire will have two fangs, but that's kind of easy to do. We're just going to make one twice the size that we need, pull it out and cut it in half, and I'll have two matching pieces. This design has some special requirements. I have to start the eyes early so they have time to cool down so they won't distort later in the process. And then I get to put the fangs on the mouth. The smile isn't here yet, but I'm gonna be able to bend that down the line.
As I said before, water makes candy sticky. Sometimes you want it sticky. We've now made one piece of candy with the artwork all the way through, but we need to turn this into thousands of pieces of candy that are much, much smaller in diameter. So to do this, we scale down this log of candy into rods. The very end gets pinched off, but don't worry, we sell this in our store under the name Unicorn Droppings. Now we take the candy and we put it on our batch roller. This machine helps taper the candy down into the rods and it keeps the temperature very, very even. This allows us to pull the candy and hopefully not distort the image. And now we change the candy into a state that every vampire would approve of. It'll become bite-sized now. And the final design came out wonderful. The image is of course of a vampire, but the flavor is blood orange, because what other flavor would you use for a vampire? He's joined in this assortment with an alien that's watermelon flavored, a jack who is caramel apple, and a ghost that is green apple. There's one more in this assortment, a jack-o'-lantern that we hadn't made at the time I shot the video, and that's going to be pumpkin flavored, so all five will be in each bag. And of course, you can get it off our website if you want to try this for yourself. Our website is www.pd.net. Also, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you like this video, please subscribe to it and ring that little bell or you won't get notifications. And if you ever make it by Tallahassee, we're right off I-10 on the Thomasville Road exit, maybe five minutes from the interstate. We're open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the moment under our COVID hours. And we make candy an awful lot, but not all the time. And if you're lucky, you can come and you can see us do this in person. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.